Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm working on a Vivaro van and I've been asked to remove something that's only just been fitted. So this is a bit of a, well, not a DIY disaster, a professional disaster. This is some form of eBay, Amazon, Chinese, Android screen thing, uh, which should work, you know, very well in its own right. It was fitted by a, well, shall we say, professional one-man band company. Uh, apparently local to this area and yeah he's getting no radio signal so my first thoughts was surely they know they need to fit a band expander so guys if you're buying a chinese radio their frequency range is different to the uk ones so if it says it's uk radio compatible make sure it works just by plugging the aerial in rather than needing a band expander so upon removal but that was pretty easy because there was no screws holding it in whatsoever. It was just shoved into the hole. So whoever installed this really does want shooting. And if we go to the back of it, I've already unplugged it. Yeah, it's um, glued into the fascia all the way around. This is a professional installation, guys. This guy paid to have this installed. So that is utterly appalling. I've now got to unbond this and get it out. And the radio... <laughs> As a standard Vauxhall filter, no band expander on it. Apparently the company involved didn't know why he was getting no radio signal. Well, that's the reason, because the band is a completely different range uh, on these Chinese radios, unless they are literally produced for the UK market with the UK frequency range. So this has got to come out, uh, or to be honest with you, replace the radio with a UK one and give up on this Chinese Android thing. So guys, really short video, just thought I'd show you there the, the, the problems that can arise you know, when professional installers get their hands on stuff and uh, yeah, it's not too good. As you can see, there is glue everywhere. He's even glued the back plate onto the bottom of the fascia, which is uh, improvisation at its best. Anyway, and there we go, guys. All fixed up nicely and installed correctly on the proper brackets rather than a glued array of mess. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.